Today, let us solve some subtraction problems while shopping with Daisy. Look, Daisy has bought a necklace worth 13,534 rupees. She gave 36,700 rupees to the shopkeeper. How much money will the shopkeeper return to Daisy? By now you know what we have to do after reading the story, don't you? Yes, let us first find out what information it gives us. Information Bought a necklace worth 13,534 rupees and gave 36,700 rupees. We have to find out. How much money will the shopkeeper return to Daisy? Here we have to subtract 13,534 from 36,700. We cannot subtract 4 and 3 from the zeros in the minuend. So here we will regroup the hundreds as there are not enough ones and tens. Thus, seven hundreds is regrouped as six hundreds plus nine tens plus ten ones. Now subtract the ones. That is, ten minus four is equal to six. Subtract the tens. That is, nine minus 3 is equal to 6. Subtract the hundreds. That is, 6 minus 5 is equal to 1. Subtract the thousands. That is, 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. Lastly, subtract the ten thousands. That is, 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So, we got the answer as 23,166. Thus, the shopkeeper returned 23,166 rupees to Daisy. And we found the answer. Now, let us look at another story and try to solve it. Daisy has liked this dress which costs rupees 31,933. But now she has only 23,166 rupees with her. How much more money does she need to buy the dress? Now let us see what information we have and what we have to find out. A dress costs 31,933 rupees. Daisy has only 23,166 rupees with her. Now let us see what we have to find out. How much more money does she need to buy the dress? So, to find out how much more money is needed, we have to subtract 23,166 from 31,933. Subtract the ones, that is, 3 minus 6. As the ones are not enough, we regroup the tens. Thus, 3 tens and 3 ones is equal to 2 tens and 13 ones. Therefore, 13 minus 6 is equal to 7 ones. Subtract the tens. That is, 2 minus 6. As the tens are not enough, we regroup the hundreds. Here, 9 hundreds and 2 tens is equal to 8 hundreds 
and twelve tens. Therefore, twelve minus six is equal to six tens. Now subtract the hundreds. That is, eight minus one is equal to seven. Now subtract the thousands. That is, one minus three. As the thousands are not enough, we regroup the ten thousands. Thus, three ten thousands and one thousand is equal to two ten thousands and eleven thousands. Therefore, eleven minus three is equal to eight thousands. Lastly, subtract the ten thousands. That is, two minus two is equal to zero. Thus, the difference is eight thousand seven hundred sixty-seven. Daisy needs eight thousand seven hundred sixty-seven more rupees to buy the dress. Wasn't it fun to solve subtraction while shopping with Daisy?